So we've already seen that there's one way um, to simplify this radical, and that would be to find the largest perfect square, that's a factor, of 96, and then factor it under the radical. So in this case, um, I can see that the largest perfect square is 16 times 6, and the square root of 16 is 4, and we don't know the square root of 6. And you're done with that. That's a nice and easy way. But that's only if you're really comfortable with finding perfect squares as factors. Um, not everyone is. So I'm going to show you a different way. It's called prime factorization. And with this, all you have to do is break this down into factors until it's completely down to only prime numbers. What's a prime number? A prime number is only uh, is a number that only has factors of 1 and itself, such as 5. There's no other factors besides 1 and 5. So that's a prime number. We're going to break this down into all the prime numbers. So we're going to start by splitting it. Um, it's divisible by 2. So let's go ahead and just do 2. And let's see, that would be 48. This guy I know has 8 and 6 in it. 8 and 6. Let's break him down into 4 and 2. 3 and 2. So 3 and 2 are, are prime, 2 is prime, 2 is prime, 4 can go to 2 and 2 as well. So now we're completely done with all the factors. What does this mean? Only factors that are at the end of a branch count. So this 4, this 8, this 6, this 48, those don't count. Only the guys at the end. This means that 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 2 times 3 times 2 is going to be 96. This is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 um, times 3 is 48 times 2 is 96. That's what it means. I've broken it down into all the factors. They're just really small. So in order to get out of a square root I need a square, right? So that means I need something that I'm multiplying by itself. So I'm going to have to go through and look for those squares. So I've got a pair of twos here. That's two times two, that's two squared. I've got a pair of twos here. Again, that's two times two, two squared. And I've got a three and a two. There's nothing I can do um, with a three and a two. So 3 and a 2. So I can take the square root of 2 squared. It's just 2. I can take the square root of 2 squared. It's just 2. And I have to leave 3 and 2 in there because I can't take the square root of those. 2 times 2 is 4 times the square root of 3 times 2 is 6. And that's what I got the other way, as you can see. But this is just a different way of doing it, breaking it down, and let's do another example. So again, in this case, I can do it either way. I can break this down. If I can spot the largest perfect square in here, then I can do it that way. Um, I can spot that there's a 36 in there times 6. 36 times 6 is 216. So I can take the square root of 36, which is 6, and then the 6 has to stay. You can take the square root of this guy, and then the 6 has to stay. So you can do it that way if you can spot that 36. But if you're not comfortable with that, again, we can do prime factorization. So let's do that. I know it's divisible by 2. It's always a good place to start if you have an even number. Um, that's 108. I'm going to do 2 again. And let's see, 108, that would be 59. And then... Oops, that's not right. 54. And let's see, 54. Now I can start going into factors that I know. 9 and 6. 9 breaks to 3 and 3. 6 breaks to 3 and 2. 
So here are all my prime factors. So again, you're only going to count the ones that are at the end of their, their branch. I'm not worried about these guys. These guys are just trying to get there. So I'm going to count. I've got a pair here of two. It'll come out. I've got a pair here of three. It'll come out. And I've got a two and a um, three still inside. So I'm taking this two out, taking this three out, and then I'm leaving the three times two in. So I've got two times three is six. Three times two is six. It's the same answer we got as doing the last way. Do two more really fast ones. Okay. Um, again, you could spot that this is 49 times two, and then you'd have seven times two, or you can do the prime factorization. Okay, prime factorization. I like to break it down into two if I don't know already, because it's even. 49. Okay, right here you can spot that this is 2 and 49. If you notice that this is a perfect square, then you could just stop right here. You say, oh, I can just take the square root of this guy because um, I know it's 2 times 49, and you can use the other way and say um, 7 root 2. Um, if you don't notice that, it's fine. You can keep going. Break this down. Um, 7, 7. I guess that's your very next step because 7 and 7 are prime. So I've got two of these, so seven can come out, and then two is stuck. Seven root two. Okay, 18. 18, I can break that again. Two and nine. You can spot this nine if you want and do root three, two, or you can keep going. Okay, I've got two threes, three root two. So you're breaking it down to all the prime numbers. Whichever you have two of can come out, whichever you um, don't have two of, then it has to stay. Simple as that.